Hi guys and welcome back to SAS JNC UK's channel. This is a quality test video. Uh, this is Wii gameplay and I'm testing it with the Roxio HD Pro version of its game capture card. Um, this is a private lobby, this is my private lobby. Uh, I'm playing a free for game with a couple of friends of mine and we are doing regular scope sniping. Uh, it's a difficult challenge, especially with a Wiimote. And um, I actually managed to come on top twice. Uh, I don't know what to say to that, but um, I was perhaps quite lucky, especially as you would have just seen there, with a pretty lucky uh, no scope, and then a, a decent enough throwing knife. So uh, the only rules in this was that the only knifing you could do was through a throwing knife. You couldn't do the melee or melee uh, knife, and it could only be a regular scope sniper. That was about it. You could use any perks you wanted, any um, equipment, as long as it the it, it was a throwing knife. You couldn't use any Semtech or C4, etc. So no lethal equipment. You can use whatever tactical ones you want. But fortunately, that didn't actually have to come across. So um, we, we were all having a bit of fun doing this. Uh, I was on Skype at the time with uh, Mr. Danzarex and uh, C4K Toxic. And in this gameplay, I actually get quite a few hipfire kills. Um, and he was a bit pissed with that. So he then, he, I, th I can't, I think he was using an MSR at first, and then he started using a Barrett 50 cal. And then he just sprayed the hell out of me, well, at least tried to. Uh, I was behind one of the cars in there, over there. Uh, I can't actually tell, because the one thing with my computer at the moment is its battery has been, I think it's come to the end of its life. I think I've had my computer maybe five or, five years, I think. And my battery is just about given up, so I'm probably going to have to get a new one, probably for Christmas. Because they are usually quite expensive things. I don't want to get a new laptop, because that's extremely expensive. Then I have to reinstall all my software, and I'd lose pretty much everything. So that's not something I want to get onto. Hopefully I'll just get a new battery or something. So I can't actually see the picture of what I'm commentating over this time. Usually I can, so I want to have a clue what's going on. But um, I, he, he was spraying the hell out of me, and he missed, I can't see. But uh, in the end, there's a clip, uh, halfway, well, about a third of the way through, that he's just um, sort of just spraying a car, and he blows up the car, killing himself and me at the same time. So that was something he was willing to do. Uh, there were a couple of decent montage -y type clips in the game in this car, this gameplay that you're going to be seeing there's one full video and then there's a couple of snippets from the third and final game that I played um, there's one part which may have already been played but um, I got a no scope uh, collateral double kill and then just reloaded quickly by getting my sleight of hand um, reward streak and then sort of hit fired a headshot giving me a triple feed now that was something very lucky, but is possible for a montage clip. Also, I get two decent uh, throwing knife kills. I actually think I get my AP back throwing knife to win the game at the end of this first one, but that's okay. Also, at the end of this gameplay, when this one finishes and it goes on to snippets in the next one, I'm going to show you that I am actually human. I'm not. We are all human. We all make mistakes. We're all not. We're not all aimbots, we always miss. So you're going to see some pretty good clips and some pretty poor ones more from my point of view. There's one clip when I'm just aiming at Mr. Danzer X and he's just sort of like in prone and then he starts moving around and I think I wasted my entire magazine and I didn't. I might have just got one hit in his foot. And that was kind of embarrassing. So that this is just to show you that I'm actually human. I'm not some beast super sniper that gets every single shot even though there are some clips in this video which shows that I can do that. I think those are, uh, there's, it might be a clip um, after this gameplay when I got a th uh, triple feed out of four bullets, I think. Four rounds, I can't remember. So um, I want to end this gameplay, be this commentary before the seven minute mark, which is when the first gameplay ends. Um, I have, con I can now confirm to you guys that I will be getting the Wii U on release date. On the, re on the European release date, which is the 30th of November. I should be picking that up at about 11.30am. Because I received my uh, exam timetable for that week, which is an entire week of mock exams. And uh, I have French 
a written French or speaking, not not speaking, listening. So either a listening or written French exam in the morning from 9 to 10.30. So I'll probably get to the Harlequin Centre in Watford maybe 40 minutes after that. Um, then I'll pick the Wii up, I'll trade in my stuff, get some cash back on it. And then I will won't be able to play it immediately because I will have another exam, uh, an ICT one this time. And this is quite a long one. It's a theory paper, but it, I think it's about two hours to what I saw. And that's from 1.30 to 3.30. So perhaps when I get home, because I shouldn't have much homework, will I only then be able to play on the Wii U, give, give you some uh, unboxing and stuff. So I'll plan to see what I can do. Of course, all the American YouTubers will have a head start over me. So you guys will probably be watching their gameplay before mine and their unboxing before mine, etc. So I don't, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. Um... Hopefully you guys will stick true to me and loyal, and I'll be able to show you some pretty good gameplay, especially with the quality, which I hope you guys are enjoying at the moment. I hope it's a good quality. I can't see it very well uh, on a small screen about two inches wide, but um, it, it looks pretty good on a full screen. It seems so much crisper, which I hope is something that you guys can enjoy, despite the fact that my Wii is pretty much not going to be like this quality anymore. It's going to be all Wii U, which is all in HD, so I'm going to be getting some HD quality on my channel, which I hope you guys will also look forward to and perhaps stick with me than other YouTubers across the uh, internet. So perhaps, you know, you'll, you'll stick with me and then I'll gain a couple of subscribers. Hopefully I can get to 200 before the end of the year. That'd be a nice sort of goal for me. So um, seven and a bit minutes is nearly coming up, so... Uh, one other thing I wanted to say uh, is that um, people from my school have actually started to realize what I do on YouTube um, slowly, I must admit, but I didn't really want to show it too much of them, only to people I trust and will find the gameplay a bit interesting, perhaps also the commentary is a bit interesting. So um, what I did with them was that if you subscribe to me, I'm good, I will give you a shout out. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I have to mention the people that subscribed to me first. The first ever person from my school was actually Joe Gilbert, except he then unsubscribed or something or something happened. So um, my next subscriber with it was either Rishi Meta or Isaac Living. I'm sorry to those that don't have a clue what's going on. Um, and then I was subscribed by Param Gill and Jack Asher. So that's what I've got as of Wednesday the 7th of November. So if you guys want to get a shout out on my channel and get your name known, then I would advise you subscribe to my channel. So anyway, that'll do. This is 8 minutes commentary. Hope you enjoy the quality of this gameplay and the clips which are playing now. So see you guys in another video which will be my fears for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. So see you then. Hope you enjoyed the commentary.